Workstation design. How much time you're logging in at work. It's a lot. It can be constructive or it can be destructive. If we're really trying to change your posture, if we're trying to really strengthen your body and make it strong so that it lasts for many years and you get as much function out of it as possible, your posture at work is a very important factor here. And my job is to try to get you to think about it and do something constructive. Recognize those bad habits that are literally affecting what kind of results you're going to get here in the office, but also teach you how to take care of yourself for many years to come. There's a lot of habits that we have that if we just alter them just a little bit, they actually become positive habits and they can be very constructive. Okay? So, we're just going to go through a quick brainstorm session on a few things that most people do wrong when they're at work, the different types of postures they put themselves into, and what they can do about it just to change things a little bit so that they feel better going home, going to sleep, waking up, feeling better the next day, and just keep going through the week in a positive way. So, first things first, seating, po seated posture. There's a few easy things that you can do to influence how your body feels over the course of an 8 hour, 9, 10 hour day just based on how you're sitting. So, from the side, if this would be ideal posture sitting at the desk. We don't want the knees up, we don't want the knees down, we want a 90 degree angle from the legs to the torso. We want to keep the spine vertical, we want to keep the head back. Okay, that's the basics. Here's what a lot of people do wrong. They usually allow their belly to relax or their back to relax and they lose their lower back curve when they sit on their butt. This will cause your back to hurt, if not now, at some point in your life. It will also allow your low back curve to deteriorate or change in a negative way. Okay. So, we need to figure out how to keep the curve in the lower back when we're sitting at work all day long. It's not that easy to do, but it's worth the effort. There's a lot of different rules or supports that you can get to put in your chair. For instance, on our website, MaximizedHealth.net, there's what's called the McKenzie Lumbar Rule. It's just a round cylinder. It has an elastic strap that can go around a chair and you can position it where it needs to be to push up into the small of the back so that the low back curve does not get lost all day long. You can also take this thing and put it in your work chair, your chair at home, or you can put it in your car. So let us know if you need help finding this. Next thing, we need to figure out how to keep the head from gravitating forward. If a lot of you are working on paper or computer screens, chances are your head is here, if not here, most of the day. This is a huge problem. Okay? This is going to change your posture in a very negative way and it's going to keep you from getting amazing results here in the office. So this is a posture that needs to be addressed and corrected. Anything that you can possibly think of or do to alter where your focus of attention is at. Keep it from being down here and try to keep it up here. Talk to your HR department. Do whatever you possibly can to raise that computer screen up and keep your head back so that these muscles don't just take on a ridiculous amount of stress throughout the day. Okay. Now, another thing. We want to make sure that we are not reaching for things all day long or stuck in a posture where we're leaning forward into the workstation. Whatever you can do to bring your workstation close to you so you can maintain a vertical upright posture without having to lean forward and reach into things, this is critical. The more you lean forward and or lean back and slouch, the more stress your back takes on as the hours tick by in the workday. So again, anything you can do to bring the keyboard, the mouse, the monitor closer to you, anything you can do to scooch closer to those things and maintain vertical posture, the better. Obviously, we also don't want to get stuck in a habit of leaning over onto one side of the chair. Most of us usually have a preferred sitting posture. This is a habit that you have to identify if you want to try and maintain a strong, healthy body as it ages. For instance, sitting on the couch, you might have a preference of sitting on one side of the couch and leaning into that side or the car, the automobile. You might like to lean into either the, the door or the little console here. Either case, right or left, it's bad. It's bad on your body, it's bad on your muscles, it's bad on your posture. We need to maintain symmetry, verticality, okay? So in the workstation, it's very easy for people to lean off to one side and use their mouse. 
Believe it or not, if that's the case, that's usually what your posture is when you're standing up and I'm doing a postural analysis. So if we want to fix those postures, we have to fix those habits. Okay. As far as the brainstorm session goes, I think that's about it. Hopefully that clears up a little bit of confusion and gets you thinking critically about how much time you're spent at work, whether it's constructive or destructive. If you have any questions, please ask any member of the Maximized Health Chiropractic team.